Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install just enough items, also known as JEI, in Minecraft 1.13.2. Just enough items just updated and became stable for 1.13.2. There were so many bugs before, I really didn't want to do a video for you guys as soon as it came out. So it's been out about a week now, but here it is and here is our tutorial on it. So first things first, though, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. You can check out Apex, the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex. You get an awesome 20 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for just a few bucks a month. We love Apex so much. We actually host our own server on them, play.breakdowncraft.com. So if you want to try Apex before you buy Apex, you can go to play.breakdowncraft.com to decide if Apex is the server host for you. Again, you can get an awesome 24 hour DDoS protected server with Apex. The first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, to get just enough items installed, it's pretty simple. You want to go to the second link down below. It's going to take you here, which is the just enough items official mod page. We then want to click on the file button here. See that? Click on File, and then it will take us to the Downloads page, where you want to make sure you're downloading the 1.13.2 version. See that game version 1.13.2 there? Make sure that is the one you are downloading. If you just click Download Latest File, it will not work. You need to make sure you click on File, and then come here and download the 1.13.2 version. Once you find 1.13.2, scroll over until you see this little gray download button. Click on that, and it will go ahead and open up this. Now, if you're on Google Chrome, it'll open up in the bottom left, right? It'll just be a pop-up at the bottom of your screen. However, on Mozilla Firefox, it's in the center of our screen. Either way, you will need to save or keep the file. If it starts with JEI and ends in .jar, which ours does, we can save the file on Mozilla Firefox. If you're on Google Chrome, you'll click keep in the bottom left. So we can go ahead and save the file. And we aren't done downloading just yet. We still need to download Forge, which you can check out at the third link down below. If you look that, it will take you here. And this is our entire tutorial on installing Forge. However, I'm going to be showing you how to install it in this video. So just click on this green download button here. Click on that and it will take us off to Forge's official website to download Forge. Once you're here, you want to make sure 1.13.2 is selected. As long as it says MC 1.13.2 right here, it is. If it's not, you can click on 1.13 and then click on 1.13.2 in this left hand sidebar. Nevertheless, once you've got 1.13.2 selected, just click on the installer here and it will take us off to add focus where you don't want to click anything. Stop, don't click anything on this page, but wait. Up in the top right, you have to wait like five to seven seconds and up here in the top right, you will see a skip button. Don't click anything. This is lying to you. Your download is not ready. You just need to click that red skip button in the top right. Once you click on that, you'll get another pop-up like this where it should start with forge and end with dot jar. Right, as we can see, it starts with forge ends in .jar. If you're on Google Chrome, it'll be in the bottom left. And as long as the file starts with Forge and ends with .jar, you can go ahead and keep the file on Google Chrome in the bottom left and click Save File on Mozilla Firefox here. Now, if we go ahead and minimize our browser here on my desktop, I have two files. I have uh, just enough items and I have Forge. If these aren't on your desktop, don't freak out. Click on the little Windows icon in the top left for me. It's in the bottom left of your screen. That little Windows icon there, click on that and then type in Downloads, right like so. You will then have a Downloads folder here. Click on that and you'll find Forge and just enough items in your Downloads folder. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, you can go ahead and open up Forge. That's where we're going to be starting. You can do this by right clicking on it and then going to open with. So right click, open with, and then you should have Java TM Platform SE Binary. If you do, go ahead and click OK. But if you don't, or if you clicked OK and it didn't work, what do you do? Well, no worries. We've got a solution for you. Again, in the description down below, we have Download Java, which is this right here after I reloaded our website. And this right here is the Java Development Kit. As you can see, this is going to allow us to install Java as well as the Java Development Kit because you need that to run Minecraft mods. Everything from Forge and Optifine to even a Minecraft server, you need the Java Development Kit. So come here and get that. It walks you through how to get the correct version for your computer, all of that stuff. It is all here. However, if you install that and it still doesn't work, right? You're still not able to open up Forge. We do have Jarfix. And you can, of course, find the Jarfix in the description down below. Right here it is. And this is our tutorial on how to download and run the Jarfix in order to fix jar files on your computer if you're still having issues after you've downloaded the Java JDK. But nevertheless, we can go ahead and again, right click on Forge, go to open with, see that? Click on open with there. And then we want to click Java TM Platform SE Binary and click OK. Now to go ahead and open up this Forge installer here, we want to click on install client and click OK. Now Forge will go ahead and install. And the only reason it would fail is if you've not played vanilla Minecraft 1.13.2. What that means is Minecraft 1.13.2 with no mods, no anything, just Minecraft 
if you haven't done that, go do that. Come back and Forge will successfully install. But as you can see, successfully install client profile for Forge. Awesome. And go ahead and click OK. Now we need to go ahead and install just enough items. To do this, we're going to click on that little Windows icon. Again, it's in the top left for me, but it's in the bottom left of your screen. That little Windows icon in the bottom left. Click on that. And then in here, you want to type in run. R-U-N. Exactly like that. Then you should have this run desktop app. Go ahead and click on that run desktop app. And in it, you want to type percent sign app DA. ATA percent sign percent app data percent exactly like that and then go ahead and click OK now we'll open up our roaming folder here where we want to go into the dot minecraft folder and in here you should have a mods folder but Nick I don't have a mods folder what do I do well don't freak out it's okay just right click create a new folder title that folder mods mods all lowercase exactly like that and then open up your newly created mods folder now you want to take the just enough items or JEI file you downloaded and drag that into your mods folder here right like so and now we need to open up the minecraft launcher but when you're in the minecraft launcher don't go slamming that play button right away you need to make sure you're on the correct profile to do that click the little green arrow next to the play button here and then select forge you should have a forge profile if you don't no worries just go ahead and click the three lines at the top of the minecraft launcher up here see these three lines click on that and then click on launch options then once you're here, we can add a new profile. To do this, just click add new right here. And then you can name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com. The reason I'm naming it that is because that is the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, it's actually our Minecraft server. We've got factions, survival, skyblock, tons of awesome stuff on play.breakdowncraft.com with over 100 players online every single day. Come play with us. Again, the IP is play.breakdowncraft.com. After you've got your name set there, we can go to version and where this version drop down box is, click on that. And then in here, you should have Forge, release 1.13.2 Forge, actually. And if you have multiple ones, just click the one with the highest number at the end. For example, 100 is higher than 90 so we're going with 100 now I'm going to change my resolution you don't need to change your resolution I'm just doing it so you can see once we're in game then go ahead and click save here come back over to the news tab click the little green arrow next to the play button click on the play.breakdowncraft.com profile it should say 1.13.2 dash forge under where it says play there ours does and we can go ahead and click the green play button now minecraft 1.13.2 is opening up with just enough items installed this will also allow eventually once not enough items is updated for it to be installed as it requires just enough items so that is pretty cool as well nevertheless once we're on the minecraft main menu i will be able to show you that not only is just enough items in the mods tab if we click on the mods tab here we'll be able to see just enough items but we can also go over to single player and I'm just going to launch into a new single player world real quick and just show you that in fact this is up and running. So let's go ahead, I'll create this new world and I'll see you once I'm in game. So here we are in game and still got some chunks loading as we can see around me here. But once we're in game we can hit E and here is not enough items. We can click on everything, see their crafting recipes, how we can make them. I didn't know you could do that to be honest. But we can click on other stuff, snow blocks, we've got quartz pillars, and then in the quartz pillars, we can click on blocks of quartz. Then we can see that you can smelt nether quartz ore to get quartz, all sorts of awesome stuff there. And you can see all this different stuff. We can also search, let's say we wanted grass, we can search for grass here, we can see a grass path, we can see a grass block all of that awesome stuff and uh, yeah that's pretty much it that is how you can get just enough items in minecraft 1.13.2 if you've got any questions about just enough items let me know in the comment section down below i'm more than happy to help you out but nevertheless if you have any questions again let us know in the comment section down below give this video a thumbs up it helped you out subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week my name is nick this has been the breakdown thank you so much for watching and i'm out peace